Mr. Kent, I want to follow up on my colleague's questions uh, regarding Burisma. You testified about a time when uh, an oligarch named Zlichewski, I think it was, was self-dealing, awarding himself contracts. Uh, when was that? To the best of my knowledge, he was Minister of Energy, uh, sorry, Minister of Ecology under President Yanukovych from 2010 to 2012. And at the time, licenses to have substrata uh, exploration of gas were awarded by a subdivision of the Ministry of Ecology. So this corrupt self-dealing then was approximately seven years, at least seven years before the events that bring us here today, the phone call on the 25th and the events around it? Correct. His time as minister was uh, 2010 to 2012. Uh, Hunter Biden joined the board of Risman in 2014. And uh, you've read the call transcript, have you not? I have, and I have it in front of me, but I haven't read it for about a month. Is there any mention in the discussion um, with President Trump and President Zelensky of this oligarch, Zlochevsky, who seven years earlier had been self-dealing? To the best of my knowledge, no. Um, is there a discussion of awarding contracts to oneself or the corrupt acts in the 2012 to 2014 timeframe? To the best of my knowledge, no. Now, what the president brings up is CrowdStrike, the server, and the Bidens, am I right? Uh, that's, I see that here, yes. There was no discussion on that call of setting up an anti-corruption court or looking into corruption among oligarchs or companies in general. The president's comments were focused on two things, 2016 and the Bidens, am I right? I believe so, yes. Now, you testified uh, in your opening statement, I do not believe the United States should ask other countries to engage in selective politically associated investigations or prosecutions against opponents of those in power, because such selective actions undermine the rule of law regardless of the country. The selective politically associated investigations or prosecutions against opponents of those in power, are you referring to the Bidens there? I'm referring as a general principle about the promotion of the rule of law. But that would apply to the President of the United States seeking an investigation of his political opponent, would it not? It could be interpreted that way, yes, sir. And I take it uh, in your discussions, Ambassador Taylor, with Ambassador Sondland uh, or others, what was communicated to you was that the president wanted investigations into 2016 and the Bidens, not into an oligarch named Zilichewski or self-dealing, but 2016 and the Bidens. Was that your understanding? That was my understanding. And in fact, when you said your staff overheard this call between Ambassador Sondland and the president, in that call, the president brings up Investigation, does he not? He did. And immediately after the president gets off the phone with Sondland, Sondland is asked by your staff, what does the president think about Ukraine? And his answer is, he's just interested in the Bidens, am I right? He said he was more interested in the Bidens. More interested in the Bidens. No discussion of Zlicheski or Chalupa or things that happened seven years ago. He was interested in the Bidens. Yes, sir.